really love warm and hot weather but one thing that i really can appreciate about the fall is not only how beautiful it is but also being able to wear cooler not cooler clothes but heavier clothes actually that are warm and wearing boots and all that kind of stuff so i'm actually in indiana right now and I just had to come over here to show you just how beautiful this area is that I'm in. It's called Eagle Creek. I am in Indianapolis. Here's a guy over here fishing. So let me show you what I'm looking at. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna find a seat. Maybe I'll sit over here on this little bench and show you my next sewing make. So I made kind of like a coat and it's made out of this same fabric, which is this Sherpa, which is actually 100% polyester when I read the label. And I purchased the fabric from Joanne Fabrics and this is actually the garment. It's like this simplicity coat pattern. It's an older pattern make sure there's nothing on this bench like you know bird droppings but yes yeah, so it's an older pattern and I finally decided to pick it up because I had the Sherpa fabric and then I needed to find a pattern to make the coat out of and so I picked the pattern up later but I'm glad I did I really like the way that the little coat came out it has pockets on the sides and then it has the dolman sleeves and then it has a fold over collar. Pins can get lost or hidden inside of this fabric as you're sewing, so you may want to use wonder clips and also a walking foot. When I purchased the fabric, the fabric was actually a really like bubblegum pink color. I made it up in that same color and then I put the coat on and I didn't really care for it in the pink. So I was like, you know what, what am I going to do? And I went online and I found that RIT dye has a dye that would color synthetic fabrics. So I purchased it from Amazon. I'll put a picture of it somewhere so you can see what it looks like. And I actually bought green. I don't know why, but I thought pink and green. Okay, yeah, that's why. Because I thought pink and green would make like a brown kind of color combination. And I threw the coat in the washing machine with that green dye. And it came out like this beigey color. And I was happy with that. As long as it wasn't the pink that I started with, I was happy with that. So yes, it's such a beautiful day. It started out really cool, but it's getting warm now. And it's so peaceful out here. I did a little shopping at Joanne Fabrics and I picked up three patterns. They're simplicity patterns. And two of the patterns are patterns I wasn't sure that I wanted, but I decided to go ahead and pick them up. The first one is 9382, a little jumpsuit pattern. I really like the way that the back looks. Let me see if I can show you the inside of the back. The line art, let me see a bigger picture of it. So I thought it was cute. So it has a tie in the back and it looks like there are buttons and a cute little pocket. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get this. I'm sold. It didn't take much to sell me. And then the other pattern that I decided to pick up is Simplicity 9388. I don't know if I would do the long one or the short one. And then this I really like because I like this view here. Let me see if I can show you what that one looks like. It's called a bolero. So, has the little puffy sleeves. This is the back here. I like that. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. And that is that the ABC song goes to the tune of Baba Ba Black Sheep and also Twinkle Twinkle Little Star.